and yet they smile and they're happy and they're grateful for what they do have. Bottom line is I go to Uganda every year because I love it. Uh, Uganda's a beautiful country. Uh, Winston Churchill called it the Pearl of Africa. The brown, rich earth produces vibrant green vegetation. The, the animals there are wonderful. The insects, the, the bird life is absolutely fantastic. But more than anything else, it's the people of Uganda that really inspire you. They've got nine tenths of not a lot, and yet they give you everything that they actually had. They're the most welcoming, the most cheerful, the most smiling people that I've ever met in my life. And when I come back to this country, I miss that. I miss that a lot. Uganda is a fantastic country. It's beautiful. It's fertile soils. 80% of the population make their living from the land as subsistence farmers. Their life is a struggle. They live day to day. It's a land of hope and joy. It's a land where the people have dignity, something that is not always appreciated in the West. And in adversity, they have hope and they have smiles. And that's why Uganda is such a joy to visit. When we're over in Uganda, there's, um, uh, in, in terms of Sundays, there's, there's three churches that we uh, tend, to, uh, tend to visit. Um, uh, of, often, uh, a large group of us will go to Novocation Institute, which uh, has a service on a Sunday morning. of other churches we visit as well. One's Noel Baptist Church, which, as the name suggests, is a Baptist church. place that uh, we tend to visit um, is uh, a place called JCC, Ginger Christian Centre. And <clears throat> I don't think I can liken that to any kind of place of worship back here in the UK. It's, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's totally different. Uh, incredibly vibrant. Uh, it follows no particular tradition. Um, and, um, you know, significant numbers of people there. The church is south of the building. Well, there's a skeleton of the building. Uh, there's, there's no roof. There's no walls. Um, but uh, nevertheless, they're there. Are you happy? Just look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. So you know your neighbor, you know your neighbor. Uh -huh. Because we believe that God is able to answer our questions. That's why we pray. Tell your neighbor, we are going to pray. Yes. 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 Yes.
There are actually no inhibitions uh, about sharing their faith. Uh, wherever you go in Uganda, there's no inhibitions. And, and it's just something which is part of daily life. And people are willing to talk about it. Somebody comes up to you in the street and somebody says, you know, what are you? Muslim? Christian? And it's, um, it's, it's quite odd in some respects. Uh, but at the same time, it's pretty refreshing. There's a lot about Uganda that's actually quite chaotic. Um, and in the middle of all this chaos, now Vocational Institute stands out as um, a centre of stability. Things are organised. Um, there's a purpose in what they're actually doing. And it's a privilege each year for me to go there to actually see the students that Uganda sponsors each year, to meet them, typically 40 students each year, to see these bright, smiling faces just beaming at you because of the opportunity that you've actually given them to, to make something out of their lives. And um, now Vocational Institute is a jewel in the Ugandan crown. In 2007, through a lot of fundraising through Uganda Aid, we actually went and laid the first, or dug the first uh, foundations, if you like, for the mechanic centre. So you hold it like this, yeah. mm? then you change the file. Mm? Yeah. Mm. So always you are right hand. And you check it to the square with that, yeah? <laughs> the Mechanic Centre now has uh, two workshop facilities, two classrooms and a big area for working on cars. We were donated some vehicles by Kakira Sugar and my passion really was to give them a safe way of maintaining vehicles which are safe to go on the roads. Um, by name of Nakayende Susan, offering I'm in textile technology at Terra. Welcome to be at Terra in future. So, uh, what do you think about NVI? Well, I think for NVI, it's like NVI, it's a nice school. Yeah, it's a nice school. Because ever since I joined this school, it's a nice school. Because ever since I joined this school, I really overcame my challenges which I had. Because I learned many things I never knew. I found many friends, teachers, because teachers, for the case of teachers, they are so friendly, they have endless love for their children, yes, and they teach well. If someone didn't tell you about NBI um, and then you didn't 
have that sponsorship in order to come here, what do you think you would have done? For that case, for the plan I had, if I couldn't have been here, for the plan I had, I was only, I don't know, I don't know I can say it. Director Solomon. He's considered quite a maverick in the African film industry, so uh, we're looking forward to working with him. percent of Ugandans live in villages, not in towns, and the existence that they have is, is quite remarkable, really. Um, it's a subsistence existence. Uh, they get up in the morning, and what they think about is, have they got enough food for the day? If they have, that's fine. If not, then they're going to struggle. We try each year when we go to actually help local villages by providing them with facilities that we would all take for granted. Um, things like toilets, um, things like houses to actually live in. And each year the, the teams that go manage to raise funds for us to be able to, to help the people in the villages. They come up with their own list of what they would like. They suggest to us the projects that they would like us to undertake. And with the help of the fundraising that the people that come on the trip do, we're able to deliver quite a lot for them. It's a word. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So Japheth, we've looked around at some of the other projects and we've already decided we're going to do seven out of the eight. Mm. The eighth one was actually proposed to be here. Yes. Uh, and this is the lady. Perhaps you could tell us who she is and, and what the problem is here. Hmm. Um, Lovely. Uh, what is... Everyone. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Now, now what uh, uh, she's called Lovis Bavireka. Lovis Bavireka. And Lovis Bavireka was identified and sent to you as the ACE project. Yeah. Uh, the condition here is really very uh, unpleasant because the, the land is water road. When it rains, when it rains, yeah. water comes from the ground, and the, all the water that flows from up there yeah, a comes slope there. into this lady's house, and she stays here. You have seen how the house is, and she has three children, which cannot stay in the thing in the, this this house with of the hall and so on. Right. So uh, she puts some of the children. The, the, yeah, the other there's, side. A, there's a similar size hut over there that the mm -hmm. children are in. How many they, children they, they does they she have? Here. She has three, three, three children, children, right? And the husband deserted her, and she stays alone. When we looked at the, the project here, we came here when it was raining, and it was too bad. You look at the, the roof, yeah. you look at the water, water is coming from the water is yeah. flowing into the yeah. into house. The situation is, yeah. is not good for her. And the, she tells us she has another plot of land the other side. Which is above, the, away from this problem yes, with the water. Yes, and if anything, it could be done the other side. Um, and she has some bricks as well, yeah? Yes, she says she has like 2,000 bricks on her side. Okay, well 2,000 is not enough, but it's, it's not a enough. start. Yes, it's right. not enough. We have to add some more bricks. Right, on, yes. okay, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. so, that's the, so that's what we're thinking of doing here. We've already planned to do seven out of the eight projects. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason we didn't pick the eighth was because of problems with exchange rate and so on. But the idea now is that I think we can make the decision now to actually help this lady as well by building the house for her over on the other piece of land so she gets out of what is basically a swamp mm -hmm. whenever it rains. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Mm. Would you would you tell her that we've decided we will build a house? Mm. You're happy. Yeah, you're happy. Tonight we're staying in a mud hut in Uganda and the family have been kind enough to give us this for the night because of the project work we've been doing, which is nice of them. Well, this has been Uganda? Yeah, 